Hi everyone, in this video we will see how to run Apache Tomcat on Docker. We start by creating a simple Maven web app. I'm going to generate a Maven web app using the archetype. So I'm going to type uh, Maven archetype generate and the archetype artifact ID is the um, archetype sorry uh, this is the maven archetype web app it's generating the project in the interactive mode it's going to ask us the group id okay the group id i'm going to give it as acme uh, the artifact id we will give it as Tomcat hyphen docker. The version is, we'll leave it with the default. The package ID is Acme. And we have build success. Okay, so let me head to Visual Studio Code. And I'm going to add folder to workspace. Uh, let me go to my home directory. And in the home directory, we have Tomcat docker. I'm going to add that. Okay, so this is a very um, a bare bones web application. Uh, you have a pom.xml. It does not have any other dependency other than J in it. Uh, we're not actually doing any tests. It's just, uh, you know, the archetype comes with, this is the bare bones web app. We don't have anything in the resources folder. Um, inside web app, uh, we just have uh, a web.xml, which is, which is not, uh, you know, we don't have any specific configuration added here. Um, and we have index.jsp, which is just a simple HTML document. Okay, so there we have the uh, simple web app set up. Now let's actually add the Docker file. I sometimes think whether I should re-record this video. These docs next to my home. I'm going to continue. Okay, let's actually add the Docker file. So I'm going to add a new file, maybe call it as um, Docker file. And in this Docker file, so I'm going to pull the um, Tomcat image, which is built on top of Alpine Linux. So I'm gonna say uh, Tomcat, um, the latest version is 9.0, 9.0-1.0. Um, and once I have Tomcat, you know, once I load this, Tomcat exposes, uh, it, it runs on port 8080 by default. So I'm going to do expose um, 8080. And the command that we want to run when the container starts is, um, so I'm going to give the command name, which is catalina.sh and run. So there we have our Docker file. Now let's actually build the Docker image. So I'm going back to my command line going inside the uh, Tomcat Docker, which is the project that we just created. I'm going to say uh, Docker build. The tag is, I'm gonna say Tomcat hyphen Docker. And I'm going to say doc, dot means the Docker file is going to be in the current working directory. Okay, the image is getting built. And now if I do Docker images, we have the image that we just created now. Next, we need to deploy it. So I'm going to run this Docker container. So I'm going to do Docker run. I'm going to run this as uh, as a background process. So I'm going to use the minus D flag, which is the which is stating that this is this process is going to be a daemon. And I'm going to put the port specify the port configuration. So let's say that uh, port 8200 on my host machine is going to be mapped to the 8080, which is on the container. And I'm going to use the Tomcat hyphen Docker container, sorry, the image. Okay, we the Docker image will be running now. Um, the Docker container will be running now. And let me go and look at, um, Let's actually load it. So I go localhost, we'll go to localhost 8200. Okay, so we have Apache Tomcat running. 
Now we need to actually deploy the wire. So we need to first build the artifact, um, the uh, Java artifact of the deployable wire. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write uh, maven clean compile and package. So this will actually build the var file for us. Okay, the build is successful. So we see that we have a target folder here and inside this we have tomcat-docker.var. So what we need to do in our Docker file is we have to copy this var file. So I'm going to say copy from target slash uh, tomcat-docker.var to if the location in the container would be um, slash user slash local slash tomcat slash web apps and we want the name to be um, say tomcat hyphen docker dot var going to save this now let me come back here um, so we already have the process which is currently uh, the container is running so we need to first stop it so I can see the list of running containers by doing a docker ps um, and let me actually stop the container. So I'm going to say docker container uh, 4D, which is, I'm going to stop it by specifying the first two characters. And I'm going to remove this container. And let me rebuild the image. I'm sorry, uh, I accidentally. Okay, so let me just stop this back. Uh, B8 and let me remove it. Let me go and rebuild that image. So we want to do this command. Okay, it is rebuilt and let's actually run it. Okay, now let's go back to Tomcat and let me refresh it. So 8200 works and we want to actually go to tomcat hyphen docker. Okay, there we have it, hello world. So we have successfully deployed a var on Apache Tomcat running on Docker. I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.